let's talk about set. What is a set? A set is an unordered collection of elements. And set contains all the unique elements. So there are no duplicate elements inside a set. If you compare it with the list, then inside the list you can have duplicate elements, but in set you cannot have those. Uh, elements cannot be accessed by index. So that's also different uh, compared uh, with to the list. So in a list I can just take the first element, but in a set I cannot really do that. All the elements inside the set are immutable. So I cannot add mutable elements or those elements which can be changed during my uh, life cycle of, of a program. But set itself is modifiable. So I can add elements, I can remove elements and so on. Uh, set theory operations can be applied uh, to sets in Python. Let's see those later on. So how do you create the set? A uh, set can be created with uh, curly braces and here I just create one set where I have three elements. So you have a set S, I can have one, two, three and the curly braces around them. So basically now I have a set with three elements inside it. To create an empty set I can use function set. I really cannot create an empty set with only braces. The problem is that they actually are used in dictionaries. So this would create a, uh, an empty dictionary so you kind of uh, have a difference between dictionary and set. To have an empty set we have to use set. So like that. And now I get an empty set where there are no elements. Um, what I can do, I can turn a list into a set. So what happens is there is a list of elements. You can see that here I have the regular braces here. Or brackets basically. And um, now I turn it into a set. There are will be a new variable number set and the set is created from those uh, elements inside the list and this number set is, is, uh, con con contains three elements after, after the, the second line. Now as was mentioned only unique elements can be inside the set and if I have a list of uh, duplicate elements for example there are two ones here uh, there are two twos and so on. Now if I turn it into a set I only get unique elements. So if you have a task to remove duplicate elements from the list an easy way to achieve that is to turn it into a set. Later on you can turn it back into a list if you want. A set only can have immutable objects. So and Immutable objects are those which cannot be changed during the life cycle of the program and mutable objects are those which can be changed. Um, mutable objects are for example list, dictionary, set itself is mutable and so on. So if I try to create a set out of those three elements, so the first one is number one, the second one is hello which is a string and the third one is a list. I get an error and the problem is that I cannot use list inside a set. Uh, the problem or, or the reason behind that is the list can change during, during the life cycle of the program and it can happen that for example let's say we could allow lists inside a set for example if the lists in the beginning are different but during the program I change one of the lists so the two lists become the same then the set would uh, have already duplicate elements inside it. So that's the reason uh, the elements inside a set can only be immutable So I cannot change the values of the elements. And the possible types inside a set are strings, 
uh, numbers, booleans, tuple and none. Uh, how to add uh, elements into a set? Uh, we can add one element using uh, method add. And here is an example. So we have a set of three elements. I just add the fourth one. If I print it out, I can see that the element four is added. If I try to add an existing element or technically the same value which is already inside a set, then this is not added. So if I try to add one, nothing changes. Now if I try to add uh, multiple elements, I can use update. Uh, update method um, works about the same. I can just provide several elements into it. And here is an example. If I try to update current set with a list. And now, because I already have one, two and three, only the element of four is added. And now I update the set with a set. And as can be, can be seen, only the eight is added from, from this set because one is already in, in my numbers set. So uh, with update, I can use lists, I can use uh, sets. It doesn't matter, it basically takes every element and tries to add it to my set. And if I already have this element, it is ignored. There is no error because of that. So you can try to add uh, duplicate elements, but in the end you only have one um, one uh, unique uh, element of, of the same value. How to remove elements? Uh, to remove, we can use uh, method discard, and this uh, ignores if the element is missing. So I have a set of numbers, one, two, and three. I try to discard one. So what happens is that one is removed, and I have a set of uh, two elements. Now I try to discard six, because I don't have six, nothing happens, and my set is still uh, two and three. Now there is also a method called remove, which does the same, but it gives me an error if I try to remove something which I don't have in a set. So here is an example. I again have this number set where there are three uh, elements. I remove one. Because I have this element, everything works and the element with value one is removed and I end up with a set of two and three. But now if I try to remove six, I get an error. In some programs, you might want to use this uh, remove method, which is more strict. Because if you kind of try to remove something which you don't have, you want to know that. And as a programmer, you can do something in this case. You can, for example, try to catch this error and then do something, or, or even more so if, the, if it's really kind of um, a critical problem, then if you try to remove something which you don't have, then the program has to stop. So in that case, remove, uh, using remove might, might make sense. But if you are just trying to work, play around, discard this uh, fine too. So, how to access elements in a set? Uh, as was mentioned, uh, elements inside a set are not ordered. So, if I add one and two and three, they are not actually in the same order necessarily. They can be, but they might not be. And because I don't have a order, an order, I cannot access them by index. So. In list, I can say that give me the first element, but in set, I cannot do that. To get one element out of the set, uh, we can use method pop. But what happens is it doesn't take actually the first element. I mean, it takes first in for, for the uh, Python implementation, but it might not be the same as we think uh, it might be. So for example, if I have a set of one and two and three, and if I use pop, I might get uh, the second element or, or element with value two or even three and so on. Uh, what happens with pop is that it also removes this element uh, from the list or actually from the set or from the uh, set of elements. So uh, for example, I have numbers uh, four, seven and one. Now I use numbers pop and what happens is uh, 
the result is uh, put into a variable one number, but the numbers itself or the original set uh, is modified so that one element is removed. As we can see, the element which was removed was one. So the last one was removed. So, but it can be different. It can be four, it can be seven, it can be one, we never know. And the numbers itself is changed. We don't have this one anymore. So if you just want to see what is the first number, but don't want to modify the set, then you kind of have to do some uh, different uh, approaches. But yeah, usually if you just try to remove numbers, then you can use pop and by popping you get elements in some order, but you don't know what is the order. So, uh, but how do you cycle, how do you use uh, sets with uh, loops, for example? Elements in a set can be iterated. So, and the order of the elements is not preserved. So if I uh, make a set of uh, one and two and three, if I loop over them, they might come in a different order. So here is an example. I have numbers four, one and six. If I do a four, four loop over those and print the numbers out or one number at a time, I get one, four and six. So this is not the same order as I would hope to get if I expect them to be in the same order as I inserted them or how I created the set. But usually with, if you want to have ordered uh, elements, you will use list and set is mainly used to kind of get, uh, get rid of uh, duplicates. And often you don't want to use um, um, order. The order is not so important there. There are different uh, data structures where you can also preserve the order, but uh, mainly you can use list for that. So let's see different set operations. And the first one is union. So if we draw a set of um, different elements, the union is a uh, set uh, which contains elements from both, both sets. So basically what we can do is that it takes all those elements here, all the elements here, and so on. So it takes basically all the elements. If I have, for example, elements one, uh, two, three in one set, and let's say four, five, and uh, one in, uh, in uh, the other set, what happens is that I will get one, two, three, four, five. The one is duplicate. If I merge them to into, into one, I, the duplicate element is removed. So here I will just get one, two, three, four, and five. The order might be different. So I have a, a bit different example here. Basically, the idea is same. But we, if we have the same element in, in both um, sets, then it only uh, will be once in a, in a result set. The second operation is intersection. Uh, intersection contains elements which are in both sets. So if we draw it here, and now we take this part, which is here. So only the elements which are both in A and in B. Let's draw, this is A and this is B. So, for example, if I have one, two, three, four, uh, one, and three, three comes from this B side. I probably should have used different colors here for the numbers themselves. And now I only get three here because it con both A and B contain this element. So here is an example how to use that. Here I have a slightly different uh, example, but the idea is the same. And you can see there's uh, two ways to use those opera oper operations. You can use method, for example, intersection in this example, 
but you can only you can use operator here. There is a special operator for uh, for this for this operation, and this one was uh, the pipe here. It was shown in this slide. So the next uh, uh, operation is uh, difference, and with difference we take the elements which belong to the first set, but unit belong to the second set. So let's draw our circles here. Now we take everything which belongs to the first one, but do not belong to the second one. So we end up with elements from this part, but not here and not here. So uh, if I have uh, one, see, one, two and three, and now this one has two and three, and four and five, uh, what happens is because uh, those are in both, uh, both sets then only one remains. So here I only get one. So we take everything one from the first set and we kind of uh, remove everything from the second set. So we remove four, which didn't, which was not there in the first place. We remove five, also it wasn't there. Now we remove two and we remove three. So that's why those two and three are not in the result. And then there is also a symmetric difference which takes elements which uh, uh, the first belong to the first or the second set but do not belong to both. So to visualize that we will take this one and we take this one and we ignore the ones which are in both sets. So here's an example. We have uh, one, two, three and uh, one, two, three, and we have two, three, four, five here. And because those two and three belong to both sets, we only take those which do not belong to both sets. So we end up with one, four, and five. So these are the different um, opera operations you can use with sets. It um, might seem that this is too mathematical and you probably won't need it during normal programming. But actually it's quite often when you want to do some of those operations. So you have some elements you want to know. I don't know, for example, you have a list of uh, names and list of other names from one birthday and other birthday. And now we want to see which uh, people were in both um, uh, birthdays or for example you want to see all the uh, people who have been to your birthdays of uh, I don't know three last years or, or something like that and and you always have actually real cases real world cases where you can use those set operations and instead of doing some uh, complex uh, programming to kind of take all the elements and now try to remove everything from the second set or list, then you can use set operations and those are quite uh, easy. But this requires you to know that you have those uh, operations and, and then you can apply them quite easily. And those are the kind of uh, operators you can use to use those operations. Uh, additional operations you can do with sets. You can get the length of the set, so basically how many elements uh, we have there. We can um, get the, the symbols out of the list, uh, out of the string. So for example, I have a string hello. Hello. And now what I can do if I put it into a set function, I can get all the elements. H, E, L and O. And as you can see, the, uh, the duplicate L is removed, or basically it, the set does not contain this duplicate element. One easy way. Of course, the order can be different, so I just wrote them in the same order as 
as they were in, in my original string, but actually they can be in a different order. Uh, we can uh, use, uh, we, we can find whether the element contains in a set using in. So for example, if uh, whether h is in my set and it returns us a boolean, whether it is or not, so basically true or false. So you can use uh, it with if condition, for example, if h is in my set, then do something. And here are the examples. So I get the length of the set and now I check whether h is in my set or whether u is in my set. So in the first case I get true, in the second case I get false. So uh, the set conclusion. A set contains unique elements, so it's a nice uh, way to kind of get rid of the duplicates. Uh, only mutable objects can be added to set. So you cannot add lists, dictionaries, uh, sets and uh, a lot of other objects which are mutable. Uh, elements are not ordered, so it means that if you add or if you create a set with elements 1 and 2 and 3 and you try to iterate over this set, the order with how you re receive them are, might be different. It can be the same, but it, cannot, it can also be a different. Elements cannot be accessed uh, using index, so I cannot take the second element out of set. If I really want to do that, I can turn it into a list and then take the second element, for example. And uh, set theory operations can be used, as was pointed out here, we can take a union, intersection, difference, symmetric difference. And here is one example, for example, we have names, for ex I don't know, names of my friends. And now I can say that there are seven names in this list. But if I want to know how many unique names I have, so instead of kind of count them and, and do some iterations, iterations over this list, I can turn it into a set here and now take the length of this uh, set. So basically this set operation uh, removes duplicate elements, I only get unique elements and now I can take the length of this uh, unique uh, length of this set with unique elements. So now I know that I have five different names in this list.